Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to show you how to use um, a patient permanganate uh, effectively. So it's really effective against fungal, bacteria, and uh, parasite, but not virus. So what I want you to do is uh, take out approximately two gram of um, a patient permanganate in powder form, and then dilute it with uh, just a little tank water or tap water, and it should look like this. Yeah, there's no standard dosage when it comes to the magnet because each tank uh, has got different level of organics and different stop level. So what we want is we want to achieve the desirable color. So this is the color that we want to achieve. I hope you can see clearly. That's the one. That's the one that's been diluted. Okay, now what I want you to do is just pour this evenly into the tank until we achieve this color. Okay, that's about right. Now, because this is an oxidizer. You, what you do is you will actually burn off uh, new tissues and also mucus. So be really careful with it. Make sure you don't overdose. And then always make it a habit to increase aerations when you're doing a PP treatment. In this case, we have got an additional uh, acid in there. Okay. And I also want you to disconnect your cancer or your return pump if you're using a sun because the case of the will destroy your beneficial bacteria. Okay. Now, leave. The solution in there for four hours and we come back after four hours to check um, what will happen. After four hours the water will turn a little bit brownish like this. That means the potassium permanganate is no longer active. So this is when you can perform a large water change. I would recommend 70 to 80 percent to take out all the residue. Just a reminder when you are doing a PP treatment make sure you just keep an eye on them. Make sure they are still acting normal like this. They're not gasping for air on top. Uh, in any case, when you overdose your potassium permanganate, what you can do is just do a large water change, 70 to 80 percent, or you can also use secant prime or hydrogen peroxide to neutralize it. Hi right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.